Um, an interesting fact about me is um, I have about five siblings, if that's interesting, um, or that I'm currently into anything Korean, Korean culture, Korean dramas, K-pop. So if you're into that too, you can hit me up. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Okwe aka Ope. Um, I currently work as a financial consultant and I'm originally from Nigeria, uh, a Belkuta, currently living in England, UK. Um, an interesting fact about me is um, I have about five siblings, if that's interesting, um, or that I'm currently into anything Korean, Korean culture, Korean dramas, K-pop. So if you're into that too, you can hit me up. <laughs> So like I mentioned previously, I currently work as a consultant. So I work as an investment banking consultant for a financial data provider in the city. Um, I've been there for about eight months now following my graduation from Loughborough Uni last year. Um, part time on the side. <laughs> um, I also run a blog called Shine a Light. Um, so yeah, I work, I'm a part time writer as well. For my job per se, it's, it was quite a tough journey. I mean, I feel like every graduate goes through it when you um, first graduate. You go through that roller coaster trying to find out what's for you. And that was exactly the same for me. I, I feel like I fell <laughs> into my job kind of. Um, just through numerous searches, I finally came across this company and I never thought I would get it to be honest. I was just shooting my shot. And here we are eight months later. I mean, the road wasn't easy. Um, in terms of application doing all the tests but I think it's it's been worth it especially going through times where uh, you're demotivated because of all the rejections but I feel like persistence um, really helped me to get my job um, and that's the same for anything I believe. In terms of challenges especially when it comes to a workplace environment I think a challenge is just really believing in yourself and having the confidence as for example with my role i work a lot with a lot of um managing directors being like the youngest in the room and having that confidence to say you know my ideas and know that actually i'm not speaking nonsense i'm speaking very valuable points and what i say add value to you i think a lot of that is just having that confidence and having that belief in yourself and i think that is the first hurdle like believing that you do deserve to be where you are and you have worked for it so you do deserve you know the opportunity that you have even if others don't really think that way i think i mentioned before that um i've been on a journey of discovering my passion <laughs> and my gifting and this kind of fits in with a person who I don't really know if I have a role model, but someone that's really been inspiring me lately, and that's someone called Patrice C. Washington. Um, I just, just like following her on her YouTube videos or her, on her platform, as well as just enabled me to discover what my gifts are and how I can use my gifts to help people in the world, um, which is something that I'm really passionate about. I remember when I was like, even when I was younger, even one thing that's always stuck with me is that I really just want to help people, if that's through giving, if that's through using writing, if that's through encouraging others, that's something that's always spoken to me and that's always been something that I've always been passionate about doing, even in the workplace. Um, I always try to bring that to my work, knowing that I'm genuinely helping my clients and offering them solutions that will actually help them in their day-to-day -day workflow. I believe um, that's been a role model for me. Through her, I've kind of discovered my gifts, I've discovered that I might be working on my passion but I can apply my gifts to things I enjoy doing like helping others um, and that's really been I just really thank God for enabling me to discover her and she's really been helping me on this on this journey that I'm on so yeah um, first of all I take it based on my current day job for someone who's trying to become a uh, financial consultant I will first of all encourage you to look into different firms that are out there look into their workplace culture i mean for me i'm i'm really grateful for the job for the um, company i work for now not only for the opportunity but for the workplace culture so they focus a lot of teamwork and collaboration and it's 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 a tough industry it's it can be very stressful and very challenging but knowing that 
you, you don't have to carry all the responsibility you don't have to carry all the all the blame we're all working together it's really been a great thing i enjoy about my job i'll also encourage you you know to be prepared like know what you want and go for it know what's required of you for each stage it was an application process know what's required of you prepare for it as best as you can and just go out there and be confident in your preparation and nail it i also be consistent and you know, don't let workplace dynamics make you feel like less you're less worthy of your position um than you are it's it, it, it is hard at first but it does definitely get easy and also don't be afraid to ask for help especially when it comes like obviously financial data consultancy it is there is a lot to learn but there are also people that have gone through it before you who can also offer help and assistance as well so don't be afraid to ask for help in terms of blogging and writing um i don't <laughs> um my advice is just persevere in the beginning it's really hard and you will feel like everything you write is trash and trashy and not the best but i will say just keep persevering it does get better um to, to be honest sometimes you do feel a bit cringy reading your own um writing but uh as long as it helps other people as long as somebody finds something to take away from it and to apply and to help them in their daily life that is really one of the best rewards that you can get so it's hard but stick with it um don't worry if you think your writing sucks keep going you know rome wasn't built in a day so just before we end i just want to say thank you to daniel to work great for giving me this opportunity i'm really thankful i'm really grateful that you had me in mind for such a thing as this um, as, I, as i mentioned i run a blog called shine a light you can always find me on ig at I shine a light or on the interwebs at um, I shine a light dot com. That is I shine a light dot com. If you're into K-pop, K-dramas, if you're into God, feel free to hit me up. We'll always have something to talk about. Um, so this has been Okwe, aka Ove. See you soon. <laughs>